Hello, hello, my friends. It is me, Militant Ginger. And how long has it been? How long has it been? A ridiculous length of time. I'm so sorry. My buddy Dan Gold, I said to him, I'm going to make a daily video. And, uh, and yeah, and he's managed to put out probably about four or five or six or seven or eight weekly videos in the space of the time since I last did one of these. Look, I haven't been completely idle. I have been making other videos. I've been making videos uh, about writing, about um, all sorts of other stuff. I just haven't been doing my daily videos and I haven't been doing videos about intermittent fasting. But look, here I am. I wanted to make a video today because uh, it's been about eight months since I started this whole intermittent fasting thing and I just wanted to do a quick check-in. So, if you remember my old videos about intermittent fasting, normally I would start them off with uh, pouring myself an alcoholic beverage and uh, why make an exception to that rule? So tonight I'm drinking some Georgia Moon corn whiskey. It's basically moonshine. It comes in this uh, cool like mason jar like moonshine. I gotta admit, it's, it's all just a marketing gimmick. It's called Georgia Moon because Georgia is where they make the moonshine. Dukes has it, they were moon runners. Uh, but if, as you can see, it's actually brewed in Kentucky. Basically, this is the stuff they throw into like bourbon barrels and they just simply skip the bourbon barrel thing, put it in a mason jar and call it moonshine, which basically is what it is. Moonshine is basically just corn liquor um, that you don't age in barrels. So, here we go. It's good though. I really, really enjoy it. Oh, it's so good in cocktails. This stuff is very clean, it's very sweet because it's made from corn. Anyway, okay. Put that over there. Got the old log fire burning. So, uh, my friends, it has been eight months since I started intermittent fasting. How am I doing? Um, let me go right back to the beginning for those of you who might have missed it. Uh, I was a big porky bastard uh, in March of this year. I was about 192 pounds, which is a bad way. I really was in a bad way and I tried all sorts of different things. I'd gone vegan and I'd tried calorie counting diets and I'd done this and I'd done that and I just hadn't ever managed to get anywhere with any of them. And then I read about this thing called intermittent fasting. There's a YouTuber called Grego Gallagher who runs something called Kino Body. Um, and he uses that to get like his lean sculpted Hollywood physique. And there's another guy, um, Fledge Fitness. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He does real no bullshit stuff about um, intermittent fasting. Uh, and I made some other friends. Uh, this is awesome, awesome, awesome lady, very foxy as well, called Pretty Ugly Beautiful. She does intermittent fasting. She's now, uh, she's gone from like being very overweight and she's now training for, for bikini competition. She looks amazing. Uh, so intermittent fasting to me was like the secret. It was, I wrote an ebook about it called The Cheat Code because it was like the cheat code for losing weight. So I do something called the warrior diet and I think it depends who you talk to, the warrior diet means different things. But for me it means um, I only eat after 5 p.m. So I get up in the morning and I'll drink black coffee and I'll drink seltzer water and nothing else up until 5 p.m. and then I'll eat normally until 10 p.m. Then I'll stop eating, go to bed, bonk, job done. And uh, doing that, within two months I lost 20 pounds. So I went down to, uh, to like the, the, the low 170s. And it was amazing. It was effortless. I mean, that's the whole thing. Um, to be honest, making breakfast in the morning was a pain in the ass. To have lunch every day was a pain in the ass. And so to just simply push that back to 5 p.m. And I was working in an office job at that point. So it was normally about 5.30, 6 p.m. before I ate. It was fine. I came home and I cracked open a beer. I had plate full of chips, then I had dinner, then I went to bed, and that was it. And within two months, I lost 20 pounds and was just in fantastic shape. So to me, it was amazing. But two months, it took me to lose that 20 pounds. Where am I since then? I used to do daily videos about intermittent fasting. And then what happened is I actually uh, got laid off from my job. And don't worry, not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I'm very fortunate. I have my fingers in a lot of pies. Um, for example, I write books and uh, I run a little review business and I do blogging and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm able to pay, pay the mortgage, which I'm really, really happy about. And that's almost something to, to talk about elsewhere. And I'm also looking for, for the next big opportunity. And I'm really, really grateful for the fact that I don't need to take the first job that comes along. I can, I can actually wait and take a job that is right for what I want to do. Um, 
So anyway, I will say that since I lost uh, my job, I've actually had more things to focus on than just intermittent fasting. I've actually had to make a certain amount of money every month from doing writing and blogging and my little review business and stuff like that. And also I've been stuck at home all the time. Uh, over the summer, which was actually great because my wife and I had this huge crisis. We were like, oh my god, what are we going to do with the kids or something? Because my wife has a, a job as well. And it's like, boom, law of attraction, problem solved. You got laid off. So I spent all summer with the kids. And you know what? That was fantastic. I actually really, really enjoyed it. Got up with the kids. Um, the great thing is I took everything I'd learned from corporate America about like project management and time management and I just put it into my life as a stay-at-home dad and it really worked. So I'd get up in the mornings and we'd feed them breakfast and then I'd go to the gym and they'd be in the gym daycare and then they'd come back and one of them would take a nap and we'd do reading and other projects with the other ones in the afternoon we'd go to the pool because the pool was open and it was just really, really enjoyable. I loved it and, you know, I was writing as well. I wrote a, a great novel that published that did really well. I was blogging, I was doing my book review business, I was going to the gym every day, so I just really enjoyed it. And one other thing that I did throughout all of that was intermittent fasting. So uh, I spent all of the time, I did not eat until 5 p.m. every single day. Uh, and that's pretty much where I am now. I will admit, you know, going through those things, eight months down the line, eight months I've been doing this, can you believe that? Um, I'm pretty much where I was after I'd done it for two months. So uh, I'm still doing intermittent fasting. Um, I've had some wobbly patches, especially recently. Now the kids are back in school. I get them up in the morning, I uh, feed them breakfast, put them on the bus. Um, my little girl stays with me. The kids come back at sort of 3.30 and I feed them a snack and stuff like that. I'll admit, because I spend my entire day making them food, it's been tricky to kind of stick to the intermittent fasting thing. So I would say I do it 90% of the time, but sometimes I like fall off the wagon a bit. And also, if you go back into my, my earlier videos, you'll see that there are times when I'm talking about like, I'm gonna adopt a low carb diet, I'm gonna give up beer and do that, and I haven't done any of that. Uh, so I will say I am like on a lazy intermittent fasting thing. I don't eat until 5 p.m. 90, 95% of the time, but then I eat like crap, I eat chips, drink a lot of beer, a lot of beer. Uh, I'll not worry about like my protein and stuff like that. So it's not ideal. I can do better. I know that I can do better and I should be doing better. But I'll tell you what, eight months after starting intermittent fasting, where am I? Well, I might be wearing a symbol, but I'm not Captain America. But I'll tell you what, you know what? I'm not, I'm not that bad. Um, I fluctuate between about 174 on a good day and about 176 on a big fat chubber day, but I've stuck there pretty consistently. Um, been working out probably three days a week. I try and do five days a week. I normally get to about three. Lifting heavy weights, doing a bit of lazy cardio, um, and you know, I'm do I'm doing okay. I'm comfortable at where I'm at. I definitely could do better. I mean, to be honest, I want to be a lot leaner. I'm probably about 19% body fat now, and I want to be at least 15, you know, maybe get down to 12. But I'm going to have to do something different to get there. Um, and also, I'll say, okay, I'm 100 and, like, let's round it out, 175 pounds at the moment. I think, as you can tell, if you saw me when I was 175 pounds before, I'm a lot leaner and a lot more muscular. Um, and I think this is the secret to it. Uh, I've been doing this in a minute fasting and I haven't been counting my calories but the wonderful thing is because I've been working out lifting heavy weights uh, three days a week at least what that means is if I am eating at a surplus if I'm eating more calories than I burn in a day I'm generally gaining muscle and if I eat fewer calories than I burn in a day I'm generally losing fat so I have just reached like a really comfortable stage to like maintain I'm not where I want to be by any means but I'm like comfortable with this momentum um, there is a lot more I can do I can stop drinking so much bloody beer uh, I could uh, stop like snacking on chips I could uh, try and be sensible I think really I want to get down to what they call OMAD which is one meal a day where I just want to eat basically like an entire rotisserie chicken an entire bowl full of Caesar salad a bottle of white wine and pff, that's it me for the day and if I did that I'd be in perfect shape um, with the, the amount of weightlifting I do and stuff like that but I'm not there yet but I'm comfortable. So I'll tell you what, intermittent fasting, 
still remains one of the most life-changing decisions I ever made. I love it. It's not always easy. It's not always easy, uh, especially when you're around food every day. Um, I found when I was working in a cubicle, it was really easy because I just focused on my work and it was like, bomb, didn't even think about food until the end of the day. Uh, now that I have to like think about cooking for the kids and think about cooking for my wife and I'm around food all the time, it's really, really tricky to stick to it. But I've been doing okay. As I said, 90, 95% of the time, I don't crack. Um, I, it's it's very interesting. So that's where I am. So take from that what you will. I will say that intermittent fasting is, to me, the correct way to live and eat. It works for me perfectly. Uh, they say the only diet that works is one you can stick to, and I can clearly stick to this. I can't stick to counting calories. I can't stick to giving up carbs and stuff like that. I know I can do better and I hope to be able to do better, but right now I'm doing an eating protocol that works for me and helps me maintain my weight and I'm in pretty good shape. So, there we go. That is my experience eight months in of intermittent fasting. I'm gonna continue intermittent fasting. I'm gonna try and continue making these videos more often um, and we'll see where it goes from there. There are some, there are some changes coming along in the future that I think will make a difference. So we will see about that. But in the meantime, yeah, here we go. Formerly a fat chubber, now a slightly less fat chubber. Uh, I'm in much, much better shape than I was. I mean, this is one of the funny things. I was uh, visiting a doctor the other day and he was talking about, you know, my past life and stuff like that. I'm pushing 40 now, uh, which I'm not too happy about. But I'm in the best shape of my life. Uh, and I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. And I've got more going on than I've ever been I had it in my life, so I'll drink to that. And uh, intermittent fasting is definitely one of the most important things that has made a difference to that. So there we go, that's my intermittent fasting experience, eight months in. Uh, if you like this story, maybe click that subscribe button, hit me a like. I will do my best to make more videos and keep up with you guys. And until then, cheers.